The question over whether you can use galvanised nuts and bolts for a deck is a good one. This is a question which a user of the Robo Deck Designer Online taught us recently, so I think it's a great one to discuss, so let's just dive straight into it. This video is one of many on the Robo Deck Designer YouTube channel. I'm Paul and this YouTube channel here is all about helping you. Helping you navigate the difficult New Zealand building code regulations. I will let you know about little known clauses and design considerations that can prevent you from making mistakes and getting it right first time. But the greatest gift I can give you is the Robo Deck Designer online tool. This online tool will help you design your deck to New Zealand building code regulations within minutes. In the past it's been possible to use galvanised nuts and bolts for a deck. Also if you want to through the aisles of a building supplier you will notice that there is a lot more galvanised bolts on sale than stainless steel ones. To find out if you're able to use galvanised nuts and bolts first of all we need to look at NZS 3604. Now under figure 4.2 there's a map there showing the country and if you can just work out which zone your deck is actually going to be located in there's three zones, there's B, C and D. There's also, there's no Zone A. Also, Zone D, which is white on the map, also includes up to 500 metres away from the coast and also 500 metres away from tidal estuaries. It also includes islands off New Zealand, like the Chatham Islands, Stuart Islands and other smaller islands as well. The second consideration on the area are if there are any microclimate considerations. Now this is under NZS 3604 under clause 4.2.4 and for the vast majority of decks this wouldn't be a problem at all. The only one which should be have a high chance of being a microclimate is option C. Now this would apply for decks in the Taupo Rotorua area generally. So this would be for decks within 50 metres of a geothermal hotspot. Now that we have our zone and we've looked at microclimate considerations, there's an interesting diagram in there in NZS 3604 under figure 4.1. If there are actually any adverse microclimate considerations affecting your deck, then you have to use specific engineering design and the rest of this video won't actually apply for your deck. The next thing to do is actually looking at the location of your fasteners. Now, on a deck they could actually be sheltered or exposed. So all of the fasteners on deck are actually exposed, with the exception of fasteners at the top of the posts, which are under a watertight floor on the deck. Now, with the Deck Designer website, all the decks designed there are actually used using open slatted decking. So in a case like that, and the vast majority of jobs, a deck would have all the nuts and bolts in the exposed location. Now that we have all this information together, it's time to look at table 4.1 in NZS 3604. So, if your deck is in zone D, you'll have to use stainless steel grade 304 fasteners. If your deck is in zone B or C, you'll have to use stainless steel grade 304, unless the location of your fasteners is directly below a watertight decking material. So, to sum up in this video, in the vast majority of cases, you're going to have to use stainless steel grade 304 fasteners for your deck. I hope this video has been helpful for you, and I hope this has actually answered your questions. So, please don't forget to subscribe to the Robo Deck Designer YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the next one anyway. Thank you.